In this video we're looking at Clipix. Clipix is a way of gathering web links and resources, uh, organising them into collections and then sharing them. So you can see I've created a couple of collections. The way you do that is you click add a clipboard, that's what the collections are referred to. You name it, you choose whether it is uh, private to you or public and then you cr that creates it. Having created it you can add content and you can upload a file you can clip emails, import pins and bookmarks, create a sticky note, uh, get the save it button, or as I have, get the Chrome extension. So always go with that, click on the Chrome extension. It uh, takes you straight to it, uh, and then all you need to do is you just click on the relevant link. You can see that most browsers are supported in some way. So let's have a go at using it. So we'll click on clipboard as I said you can choose public and we'll name it as James for the minute and add. Having done that and got the extension installed which you can see up here and you click on the extension having gone to the page that you want so we'll just go to my website You click on the Clipix icon there and you've got a choice. You can make a selection. So if you're just a, a particular image or, or part of a web page you want to save, you can do that. Take a photo of uh, the screen or you can click save it. You can then add your description. So really useful if it's resources for your students. Select the clipboard where you want that to go add any tags relating to it to make it easier to find and click save. So we'll do another one, we'll go to our YouTube channel just to, and again same process, we click on the icon there, we click save it, we can then, if there's multiple images available we can choose an image we think is most appropriate, so let's go with one of those. And then having done that, we can put in a description, choose which clipboard it should go on, uh, add any tags and click save. So that's how you create uh, and add content to your Clipix. Having got it there and ready, you can then choose to share it either by clicking the share button at the top and that will allow you to enter other members of Clipix to share it with or add their email addresses or as I prefer to do it, if it's public, click on the share icon down the bottom. You can then share it via the social media, by email, or as I prefer, click on get the link and you can copy that link and add that link to your school or college VLE or to your social community. So there you have it, Clipix, a great way for organizing web content and then sharing it with your learners. Thanks for watching.